I'm here with James to find out about Herco's Pro Cobot and Pro Feeder. So James, back before you had this, were you struggling with sort of production runs and is this sort of helped you become a place where you can run lights out? Exactly, yeah, so um, due to um, high quantity production orders, we were struggling with just um, not being able to run lights out and we didn't really want to take on night staff. Um, so we already had three VM10UIs and the sensible choice was to get a new VM10UI with um, an integrated robot um, and the robot has allowed us to leave here at say four or five o'clock and then the robot will run for, I don't know, six, seven hours depending on the cycle times of the parts and we can come in in the morning and uh, we can have 24 parts done and if the parts are the correct shape then you can stack the parts so you can actually have, I think it's 46 parts or something, you can't quite double it, but you can have about 46 parts um, stacked and I think you can even stack three high as well if you wanted to. Now obviously that's been quite a big advantage for you being able to run like this out, but before we go into sort of the work you're doing through that, what was the installation like? Because obviously this was your first robot, you yeah. needed the insula installation from Herco and the training. Yeah. So how did that all go? Um, so uh, it, it was seamless really. So the um, the machine was delivered, I think it was it was on a Thursday or a Friday, um, and then it was commissioned um, the next working day. Um, and then I believe, um, I think Andy came down and, um, and installed it all. And uh, he was also the guy that did our uh, on-site training as well for the robot. And I believe it was two or three days the training but it was uh, it's simple to use, it's a step-by-step -step process and um, uh, anyone with a bit of CNC knowledge, they'd be, able to, um, they'd be able to get that robot set up. Now obviously, you've already said this has made you more productive because you're in that shift. Yeah. So what sort of work are you running through it? Um, so um, during the day, we do short running jobs. So those would normally be jobs where someone would have to come and change over the machine every five, six, seven minutes. So by allowing the robot to do the short runs during the day, we can then get the robot to do the long running jobs at night. So then it runs for longer at night. So it might run until three or four in the morning. Um, and uh, we'll come in in the morning and, and yeah, we've got some more parts done. Obviously you have quite a lot of machines yeah. per staff member. Yeah. So has this allowed your members of staff to do other things and keep other machines running. Yeah. Because like you said, every six to seven minutes, they don't have to run back up and keep changing yeah, this exactly. One. So we'll start in the morning at 6 a.m. Um, first thing to get going is the robot. So we'll do the coolant level checks, um, clear out the swarf, get the robot running, and then we'll then get everything else running. And that robot, depending on the cycle times, like I say, that might be running till um, midday, one o'clock, and then we can then change the parts again.